Hey there and welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we're just going to quickly go over what top and tilt is on a tractor three-point hitch. This model here is a John Deere 3046R. Each series of tractor will have a slightly different setup, but this will give you a, a good general idea of what it's all about. So, how to run top and tilt requires two additional hydraulic valves. So you have two um, uh, connections here for each valve, all right? So it's gonna allow the flow to go either direction. On John Deere, these are called the fourth and fifth valves. You'll see the hoses come off. These two hoses here, one will work its way down, come right down here, and die into this side of the cylinder. And then you can see this other hose here will come around and connect right back up here. Okay, so you can see how the flow works and cycles through, you know, the pathway that it goes through all the way through the cylinder. All right, so our other two connections right here are gonna be these two hoses that are following down, coming around, and they're gonna, one's gonna come to this side and one's gonna come to the other side over there. All right, so this is our top, this is our tilt. So top and tilt. The way that we have it set up on this tractor is to be controlled with an electric diverter valve. Now that function can be engaged and disengaged right here. When we engage that function, it will divert flow from the loader controls, from the loader uh, valves, okay? So we'll no longer be able to use the loader uh, while that's engaged. And instead it will redirect the flow back to the side, back side here to these valves so that we can control our top and tilt. We will control it with the loader joystick. So I'll go ahead and, and fire it up and show you how that works. Now, I'll go ahead and throw a picture up too of another way that you can control that without the diverter valve, but you can see uh, on the other tractor I'll show there'll be uh, these same valves essentially mounted right up, right up here. It's gonna be on a model 3320, all right? And each one of those valves will have a separate lever that you can reach from the operator station. So it comes out to about right here, the levers do for the fourth and the fifth. And so you can control the, the top and the tilt that way as well, or anything that's plugged into it. So anyway, we'll go ahead and fire the tractor up and I'll show you the top and tilt in action here. All right, so again, I'm gonna go ahead and engage. You can see the light lit up there, meaning it's engaged. And now I'm gonna go, I'll lean back here We'll move it left to right so you can see. So that's the max for one direction. And I'm gonna raise this up a little bit higher if I can. And we'll show you again here. If I cycle this, or if I pull up the throttle, it'll cycle quicker. Cylinder, it's fully extended now. All right. Now we can work this joystick forward and backwards. You might have heard a loud clunk right there when I turned the tractor off. And that is actually resetting uh, the diverter valve. It resets automatically each time you turn the tractor off to the loader controls. So if I were to turn it back on, I'd have to go ahead and flip that switch again to get it to operate the top and tilt. All right, so tried to show you there just the full position of, of each and uh, 
fully extended and retracted. It's pretty handy, I tell you. So it makes hooking up to different implements much easier when you can just, um, especially the, the top, you know, if you are um, hooking up from a box blade to a ballast box or to a brush hog um, or a tiller or anything like that, you know, it's lots of times you need to have a, a slightly different angle or you wish you did uh, on the top there to be able to connect to it and that makes a world of difference. I used it, the top link, um, they're just hooking up the ballast box here. But anyway, that gives you a good overview there of what it is. Same general concept for any model of tractor, any brand of tractor. So this just happens to be a John Deere 3046R, so a John Deere 3R series. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com to view our full selection of inventory for sale. Thanks again. Have a great day.